So now I'd like to show you how to measure areas or lengths in QGIS. I've opened a new project and loaded uh, an aerial photograph that I've downloaded from uh, the MinGeo website here of an area near Big Marine Lake. You'll often want to collect information on the lengths of roads or other segments or areas of stands or lakes or ponds or other features without committing those data to a data set. And there's a slick measurement tool which allows you to do that in QGIS. A couple of things is when you first load a data layer, so I'm going to remove this and reload it, you may be asked about the coordinate system. If the layer doesn't have a coordinate system attached to it, the information is, isn't in there in a format that QGIS can read, it doesn't know what the coordinate system is, so it'll ask you. Now, I know these data are in this NAD83 UTM Zone 15 North Coordinate System. So I'll say OK. It's basically just a different way of defining where things are on the surface of the Earth. So this image loads up. I want to zoom then, using my zoom tools, to the features that I might want to measure. Let's say I want to measure this length, length and width and area. So I'll go to the measure tool and I can select to measure lines or areas. I'm going to start by measuring lines. So I'll left click on the tool and it activates it. I can left click, let's say, at one end of the lake. And as I drag, you can see in this pop-up window, it shows me the distance. I can left click again to fix the distance. Then I can right click to say I'm done. So I have the total length across the lake. I can measure a new segment by measuring the width. So I can left click and come across and left click to fix it and then right click and that finishes that segment so I can get the distance across the lake. I can measure perimeters if I want by starting a connected set doing a series of left clicks. Now this is really rough. If I were really interested in this distance I would do a much better job but I'm just doing a pretty rough job here. So I can get the total distance around the lake. Now you might say, okay, fine. This is distances in meters and a total distance in kilometers, but I don't want to measure in those distances. I set the distance in the settings, in the options. And in the options here, I can set the distances for um, any of my general tools or map tools. So here are the preferred measurement units I can set in feet and angle units in a different um, unit. So if I go to the measure tool and measure line, I now get my segment lengths you see in feet here. So if I look here, the segment lengths in feet, it gives me the distances in miles. Same thing for areas. So I can go measure an area and get the area of this pond, for example. Now, unfortunately, it just gives me the area in square feet, so I have to calculate it later in a spreadsheet if I were to write this down into acres, uh, since it's about what 43,000 square feet to an acre. This is a two-acre pond. So I'll have to do the conversion. I can't pick here for it to show me acres or square miles or those sorts of things. But nonetheless, it's a useful tool to get quick and dirty measurements without having to go digitize areas.